In this video, we're going to install ESLint and Prettier and config these two together and integrate both of them within our VS Code or Visual Studio Code. So in order to do that, we need to install Prettier and ESLint extensions. So once we install these two, either you go and find them in extensions and look for the ESLint or look for the Prettier. And when you found them, you need to install both of them. Or you can go and execute these two commands and install this extension through your terminal or command line. I'll leave these two commands in a video description. So once you install these uh, extensions, then the next thing you need to do is to have, basically what we have here is a, a very normal and standard JavaScript project. So we have JSON file, we have HTML, JavaScript, CSS. And as you can see, there are some styling issue, for example, here in our data.json. So as you can see, we are using single quotation and in a standard JSON, we need to have double quotations and the indentation is not really right. So I'm going to also close that one in a index.html. Also, we have some indentation problem. So I'm going to close that one too. In index.js, which is again here, we we are using, for example, let, but I think it should be const. And also there is a variable here we're using, uh, again, let, it should be const. Or I can also say uh, on top of the page, I can say let number equals one, and then leave it like that. As you can see, there is no error. Everything looks fine. But because we're not using this variable, we're not using the number at all, and the number is not changing. So probably it should be const. And then because we're not using it, maybe we should get some feedback. So we can fix all of these things together with Prettier and ESLint. Before we go in there, we need to install some packages. So I'll go and open the new terminal. And I already have got the command ready, so I just paste it here. As you can see, I'm going to install a few packages, ESLint, ESLint config Airbnb base. So we're going to use Airbnb as our uh, coding convention and standards. And we're going to use ESLint config Prettier, ESLint plugin HTML, ESLint plugin import, ESLint plugin Prettier again. So this is plugin, this is Config, so these are different. Config, and then plugin. And also for the last one, we need Babel, ESLint, and we also need Prettier. At the end, I put dash D, so it's going to save everything in uh, dev dependencies. So let's just press enter. While this one is going to be installed, we also need to go and to the settings.json. So we need to go to the file, preferences, settings, and from here we need to click this icon, open settings.json. We need to add a few more lines. So the first part we need to add is this part. So we're going to say editor format on save true. So it means whenever we save a file, the editor should format the file. But in the next step, we are saying if it is a JavaScript file, don't format the file. And the next three lines, also, we need to consider them. So we are saying eslint.autofix on save true. So it's very obvious. And then always show status. Again, this is very obvious. So it's going to show the state here. And also prettier disable language JavaScript. So on a JavaScript, so we're not letting Prettier to just run. So we need to add these configs and settings to the, our Visual Studio to Visual Studio Code settings. And then if I go to data.json, very quickly you see a feedback and it says it should be in a double code. So I'll press Control S or from here I'll go and save. There we go, everything fixed. I'll go to index.html. I press Control S, I close this one, everything's fixed. So in index.js, if you press Control S, you don't see nothing is happening because uh, we haven't told ESLint 
to use a configuration and how to fix uh, this JavaScript file. So the issue is, like for example, in data.json, we use prettier, index.html, we use prettier, and let me just quickly go to the style.css. Also, if I press Control S, everything by prettier is, uh, well, formatted or get pretty. But when it comes to the JavaScript, if you remember, we disabled prettier on JavaScript files. So we are letting only ESLint to format the JavaScript file. So in order to fix that one, we need to add a file in a root directory called eslintrc.js. So I'm going to copy and paste this content. And as you can see, we are using the, as a part of using Babel, and then we're using ECMAScript 6. If you need to know more, you need to go to this URL. And then in the rules, we are going to use the rules which we like to apply to our JavaScript file. I am using, for example, these rules. And if you like to change or update them, you can look for the ESLint rules. And then you see a list of rules and then you can just update them accordingly. I will just save this file, close it. And now in index.js, very soon you see we have some errors. So I'll press Control S change to the const, change this one to const, and all the things are correct. So if you remember, this one was double quotation. I'll just do it one more time. Now, again, we get the error. So if I press Control S, it will save it automatically. And here, number is declared, but never used. So we will see some feedback. And the next thing I want to show you guys is how to not let ESLint lint a file. So if you go here, uh, I have another index.js in a root directory. We have some errors, well, I wouldn't call error, but it, it needs linting. And as you can see, if I put my mouse there, it's just showing that we need to replace the double quotation to single quotation. We have some empty lines. And if I press more a few times, you see more errors. So we can say eslint ignore this file. So we can, on top of the file, we can just write like a comment, eslint dash disable. And now, no matter how many times you press Control S or press save, the file is not going to change and eslint is going to ignore the file. So this is all for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.